Hey friends, this is Tatiana from Disco VR, and a few days ago I made a video about SideQuest announcing their new amazing in-VR app that you can use to sideload all SideQuest content directly from your headset. While I think that the official SideQuest video is pretty detailed in explaining how this app works, I decided to make one more video to clarify just a few things that I have noticed people have been asking a lot about over the past weekend. So let's look at how you can install and use the new SideQuest in-VR app. Please keep in mind that this is a beta app, meaning that some occasional bugs may occur. Please provide your feedback to help the developers improve this app, I'm sure they will appreciate it. There are two ways how you can get SideQuest directly onto your headset. The first one might be a more familiar way. Go to SideQuest and search for SideQuest VR. Click on this app and here you will find the official hoodie explaining what this app is and what it does. And if you have your SideQuest set up on your PC or your phone, you can sideload it directly from this page listing, just like you sideload any other app from SideQuest. Another way, and that's the way I recommend, is to download and run the new SideQuest launcher on your PC. Click on Get SideQuest and you can download it from here. For most Windows users, the first one is the one that you should download, but you can also click on Show More to get more versions for macOS and Linux. I recommend this method because this is the new launcher that has the new troubleshooting system that helps you see the status of your headset's connection to your PC, and if for some reason your Quest 2 is not connected, then it shows you which step might be blocking this connection. You can download the NVR SideQuest app by going to Home and clicking on this button. That way you don't need to search for this app in the library of SideQuest apps. You can also use the SideQuest launcher to transfer files to your Quest, which is helpful when you install VR game ports such as Doom or Quake. And you can also access all the headset settings and change them right here. At the moment you cannot change them from within your headset, but this launcher makes it very quick and easy to change the texture resolutions, video capture size, refresh rate, and so on. So these are the two ways to get the new SideQuest app onto your headset. You will find it in the unknown sources and the app is very easy to use. The first time you run it, you'll need to link it to your existing SideQuest account, so make sure that on your computer you are signed in on SideQuest with your account. When you run the app for the first time, you'll see the six-digit code. This is the code that you will need to use to link your account. On your computer, go to sdq.sd slash link. Here, put in this code exactly the way you see it in your headset. You will notice that there is no confirmation button, no OK or accept, because this page will update automatically as soon as the correct code is put in, and you will see this window that will ask you to confirm linking this app. After that, click on Link App, and when you go back to your headset, the window will automatically update and the app will start. The app is very easy to use. I talked about it in my previous video, so feel free to check it out and also watch the official video announcement from SideQuest for even more details. Let me know in the comments what else you would like to know about the new SideQuest app or something that you would like to see in the next walkthrough video on this channel. Thanks for watching, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to DiscoVR. See you next time!